WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. This is Jacob Shoup filling in for Tom O'Brien. This is the 4 p.m. stock market update. Let's see where everything closed. Well, we have the E-mini off about 0.06%, so we did not make it back to the open. Um, and we had, we had some decent volume on the leg right before the close, which is good. Uh, the Russell Futures off about 0.75% and Q's sideways as well. Uh, of course, we have the non-farm payroll tomorrow, so we might be kind of waiting to see what happens with that. You had uh, Europe and I believe Canada as well, um, but mainly Europe, decreasing uh, their interest rates, which while that doesn't necessarily impact us directly, I mean, it moves markets, right? So there's something to be said with that. Uh, still, America is struggling uh, with some inflation here as well. Uh, the Dow futures up about 0.16%. And then the gold contract, you can trying to get, you know, back through that 2400 level, which is pretty solid if we can make that and do it on some nice volume as well. Of course, if you missed the last show, we had Tim Ord on, and he did a pretty solid uh, analysis on gold and, and defended a bullish position on that. Um, so I really recommend you go on to YouTube a little bit after uh, the end of the program today and check out that archive. Uh, love it, as always. Silver finishing up strong, up about 4.38% today at 31.39, and then copper at 4 67 uh, crude oil finishing up two percent at 75 57 uh, steel dynamics not doing much and then that dollar still at the lower end of its trading range at 104 11 we are hoping for a breakdown uh, into that 103 level now nvidia is going to have probably didn't update but gonna do its 10 for one split hate looking at stuff like that on the daily Gonna have a 10 for one, that's gonna happen tonight. Uh, of course, what are we at valuation wise? Just still under three trillion, which is nuts. Uh, and then there's gonna be a dividend increase, uh, which is pretty solid for it. Uh, so you wake up tomorrow and you're like, what the heck happened to the price? That is what occurred. Uh, very good stuff. Disney is uh, now, oh my God, $100. Man, and it's such, it's such strong volume on that gap down as well from what like the open of 116. Anyways, they're dumping about 17, the exact number, 17 billion in a Florida park. So they're set to release a new park. So hopefully that can give this stock a little something interesting. Folks, thank you so much for joining me. We're gonna have Tom on tomorrow. Um, I believe I'm gonna be on tomorrow at 9.30 with Tommy O'Brien for the morning market kickoff. So come through and spend some time with us in the morning. I hope you all have a great rest of your day.